G'day, Kevy Bird here. I got my hands on an Intel Hades Canyon Nuck and gave it a whirl. Here's what I found. First off, it looks portable. It looks like a thick slab you could just pop into your bag. However, that's not the case. It needs a power brick to run. As you can see, that's going to take up some more room in your bag, almost as much as the Nuck itself. To give you a sense of scale, I'm just going to play with the Intel Hades Canyon Nuck in my hands. We all have different sized hands, so to help you visualize how thick the nuck is, I'll compare it to something that every Australian can relate to a meat pie. This is just your regular meat pie, you know, the same ones you get at the servos. I'll pull this one from my fridge so it's still frozen, but yeah, once it's heated up, it'll be almost as thick as the nuck. Now, if you're traveling, you'll also have to pack your keyboard, mouse, and speakers because the nuck needs these input devices. It's not like a laptop that has all these things built into it. Of course, the laptops have a built-in trackpad instead of a mouse, but you get the idea. If you're just browsing the web or doing simple computer work while traveling, I reckon the NUC might not be a good match for you. It's a bit of overkill. However, if you are all about performance and functionality, the Hades Canyon NUC is hard to pass up. Call me old-fashioned, but the more USB ports you can fit onto something, the better. There's four at the back of the nut and two at the front. What I like to do is to plug in a keyboard, mouse, Xbox controller and speakers in the back. That takes out all four back ports. For the two ports in the front, they are perfect for charging phones and wireless headphones or whatever. Alright now, you know, just for a laugh, let's just plug away so you can see how the nut looks like with all wires going everywhere. Of course, you can declutter a lot of this simply by using Bluetooth devices with the NUC, but I'm an old school guy. Being old school, I of course use HDMI and there's two HDMI ports on the NUC. That's enough for your typical everyday dual screen setup. There's also two mini display ports and two Thunderbolt ports. You can plug all these in and end up with a six screen setup. But do you really need six screens if you're not working in, I don't know, in surveillance or in video production? I mean, sure, yeah, go for gold. Get that command station look if you want. No one's stopping you. If you ever need to open up the Hades Canyon Nuck, you'll need an Allen key or what some people call a hex key. Same thing. I'm just showing you close-ups of what the actual screws look like. Now, you'll need to open up the NUC if you've got a bare bones kit, so you can fill it out with RAM and a solid state drive. You'll also have to buy an operating system. Personally, I'm not into building my own PC, so I'll just go for a bundled version like what I have here, that has everything already sorted. It's pricier and can cost anywhere up to 2.5k, depending on the specs that you're after. Regardless of whether you get bare bones or bundled, you'll still be getting an Intel 8th generation processor with integrated Radeon, RX, Vega M graphics. Right now, I'm loving the forest. Here's footage of me playing it with the highest settings. In the top left corner is the FPS counter and you can see that it usually stays around the 50 mark. In this scene, I'm slashing a group of cannibals willy-nilly and it feels really smooth and nice. I switched it up to a nighttime scene with fire and more cannibals to see if there's any noticeable impact, but again, like referring to the FPS counter, it still stays around 50. I think most gamers will be happy with that. For the forest at least, there's no need to tinker with settings like adjusting the draw distance or shadows or whatever to make the game smoother. You can just max it all out and it's fine. Now I'm not going to rattle off the specs because I'm just giving you my impression of the nut. This is me having a yarn. But if you need those details, they're in the link in the description. The specs, however, are clearly aimed at the professional and pro gamer market. So, in conclusion, what do I reckon about the Hades Canyon Nut? I reckon it's too much overkill for average users that don't really need to push the limits whenever they're on a computer. Using a word processor, editing spreadsheets, watching movies, all of those things the NUC will cut through like butter. If you're a serious gamer that wants great graphics and frame rates, 
or if you're into video editing or 3D design or anything really that requires a lot of power, then the Hades Canyon Nuck is well worth having a look at. Anyway guys, it's time for me to head back into the forest for some more cannibal hunting. This is Kevy Bird, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.